This is a project update for two PCB projects I'm working on coming up soon. And it started a while ago with this PCB, which I used as an audio matrix switching board. So with the headers, it would have 16 inputs and 16 outputs. And over I squared C, I'm controlling two of these MT8816 chips to be able to route an audio signal from any input to any output, turning multiple paths on and off if I want at the same time with one command and things like that. What this whole project is for audio switching, it's basically a loop switcher when it comes to switching guitar effects. So here's just a web page that explains a bit about it. So this box in the middle is what I'm trying to replicate but in a different way. So normally you would have a guitar and it may plug straight into an amplifier or you may plug the guitar into an effect and it may plug into other effects straight in a line. Then you can press on these foot switches to turn each effect on and off. But if you have a lot of effects and you want to turn them on and off maybe in different combinations all at once, instead of turning three off and then two on, that's five individual switch presses, you could just have it on some other loop switcher where you plug each effect in to its own channel and then you just press one button that you assign to turn a bunch of these on and off together all at once so that you're not going all over the place and having to remember everything. You just press one button and it turns things on and off. I've explained how this works in a previous video, but basically Having a grid with 16 rows and 16 columns represents what we're doing. So if I just say all of the columns along the bottom would be input signals, I can plug a guitar into one and a bunch of guitar effects into the rest. And along the other edge of the grid, I have an output that would connect to an amplifier and more outputs also going to the guitar effects. So here going into the matrix, one thing going in is a guitar, another thing going in is the output of an audio effect and so on. Things coming out of this matrix are going to an amplifier or going out to enter some guitar effect where the output comes back into the matrix and so on. So basically in this project, if I want to connect a certain input over to a certain output, I tell it which row and column to join closing a switch contact and then an input goes to that output. I've gone through that more clearly in previous project videos, so this is just a refresher. So these are 40 pin dip analog switch chips and you need two for this. So on one of these boards, I'm now using the same two chips, but they're in PLCC 44 pin square packages, so it's a lot smaller. And I've got these two pin JST style headers here for 16 inputs and 16 outputs. So I'm slowly working on crimping some of these cables. And still over I squared C, I'm controlling the matrix here. And this is happening from an ESP8266. So the goal here is the ESP8266, underneath there's an RS485 receiver. So I'm going to have RS-485 wires coming in. The ESP is going to look for commands. Then it will use the GPIO expander to switch audio channels through these chips to connect various inputs and outputs together. This is going to be the board sending out RS-485 commands to this board. It's got a 34 pin ribbon connector style socket here that I can plug in a bunch of physical switches to. And based on what switch is pressed, there's a little AT tiny chip here reading the switches. And when a certain one is pressed, it'll send out over RS-485, which is right here. For now, it's just going to a USB serial port on the computer for testing. It will send these commands to this board and it will do some audio path switching. So I have this breadboard hanging off of here because right here there's an empty space for a chip. These 16 switch inputs are supposed to go to a PCF8575 16 channel GPIO expander chip. But I didn't have the right package part. The one I have is the smaller SOP. This is an SOIC. But I do have PCF8575 GPIO expander modules. So for testing for now, 
I connected power and I squared C control pins over to here and I can just take a ground wire and control the inputs just to get it tested. And over here, here's the sketch I'm working on to read those switches in and send out things over RS-485. I'll reset this serial monitor. All I'm doing is reading in all 16 inputs and with nothing pressed, the inputs are pulled high so you get all one. I'll clear again. Now if I take a ground wire and just touch it to some of these inputs, we can see a zero showing up wherever it would be getting a button press. So that tells me this part of the hardware is working. Now I plugged in this actual matrix board into RS-485. Again, going to USB serial port on the computer. This switch monitoring board is only providing 5 volts. So now I can send RS-485 commands in from the serial monitor and make these ICs route various inputs to outputs here. I'm not set up to fully test with signals. I've done some multimeter probing, but in the serial monitor we can see what's supposed to be happening for now. So if I enter a zero on the serial monitor and send it, it tells me what's going on. So if I scroll down in my demo sketch, if I receive on the serial port number zero, it implements this signal path here. Basically, I want to connect the X0 input to Y0 output, and that's all I'm trying to do here. So on this grid printout, here's X0 and here's Y0, and we can see that there's a mark here saying that this junction is connected, so X goes to Y0. And if I receive serial character 1, it will set this up. So if I go here, type 1 and send it. Now the map is showing all these other XY junctions being connected. So I was trying to tell it connect X0 to Y7. So here's X0 and it's got a node connection to Y7. So if I put a guitar on input 0, it's going to go to Y output 7. And this is just random. It's not supposed to actually be a proper signal path for guitar stuff. I just wanted to double check I can access both chips on this whole grid. So also I want X15 to connect to Y14. Here is X15 and there is a connection made to Y14. So if I have an input signal coming on X15, it's going to be sent out to Y14. And X2 goes to 11, X13 goes to 1. So there's 2 going to 11, 13 going to 1. So this was just to test that I can set the signal path the way I want. I've done some small tests where I might put a 5 volt signal on one of these X inputs. And then I put the multimeter on the Y output that I'm trying to route it to. And I confirmed I was getting 5 volts when it's supposed to be connected and stuff like that. So now what I have to do is build this kind of a switch board that I can use with foot switches as my inputs on the first PCB. So it's going to wait for a certain button to be pressed. Then over RS-485 it sends out a signal to the other matrix board and it will route effects in and out of my guitar to amplifier signal chain. If all goes well, soon I'll have a couple of videos up on the main channel demonstrating this.